Hi, in this short video I'm going to look a little bit further into uh, orders because there have been a few improvements lately and uh, time permitting I'm going to also show how we manage trades. So let's go for a November, let's say a Ein Condor. Let's have a look. Note that you don't necessarily need to display the full graph. There is here a simulation which gives you just a quick picture of how the, your simulation looks like. So this is about the same, it's quicker loaded, it doesn't need an extra window on the side. So let's go back to this and I'm going to now go for an order, press O. Okay, here I confirm. So what I've added is now that you can see very clearly what kind of combo it is. But what I've also added is that you can have a mock order. So basically a mock order is like converting for those who are used to that terminology conversion on the option view, you just convert to a trade. It will just take the mid and the prices there. So let's just save it to a trade. Now let's go and check executions. As you can see, it's there, exactly the same, same price, same mid prices. And I'm going to save it to, um, I don't need to specify SPX, the SPX prefix will be there, so I'm just going to call it I see no 19 and as you can see the exec ID has been changed for mock exec and the order number uh, this could be changed like almost like arbitrary data here okay so now let's hide this so we can consider this one has been executed so of course, yeah, it's still a simulation. What we need to do now is that we go to executions and we're going to turn execution to trade has been done. So let's go from trade to T log. I'm going to open this trade. So the IC November is here loaded and as I've mentioned before you can select exactly what you want to put on the t-log and from the t-log it will be then transferred back to, onto the matrix so for this simple example I'm just going to put everything on the t-log it checks that I've got the right expiration and the right strikes so I can just send this to the matrix as you can see now, it's all there. It's been converted. So this is the way to actually record a mock order or converting a simulation without going through the TWS. Let's have a look at a nice feature, maybe a little bit more sophisticated. I'm going to go to the trade list. Here it's going to tell me all the trades um, of course, some have expired. I mean, the previous simulations were on October. So let's go for this one. And this can actually be put straight onto the T-log. What you can do, of course, here yeah, I don't have, but let's, let's just for the sake of it, just let's press Shift and select another one. As you can see, you can combine trades here. So everything here will be, then be sent to the previous, as you can see, to and I can actually now send everything to a T-log. Of course, these two are false, so you can't actually send it to the matrix. The, those two options have expired, but if we assume that we have combined different trades from the same expiration, or at least valued expirations, you can actually put everything there and then on the matrix. It looks like it's a long process, but on the positive side, you can select multiple trades. Here you can select what you want to see from, let's say that you have a trade and a few adjustments. Here you've got a timeline. 
it goes back to the previous available set of strikes and then from then you can send to the T log. Of course in this case it will not be very useful because these two are actually expired strikes. But you, you see that you can combine trades, you can actually filter. Once you've got your list of executions, you can actually list, okay, I want to see up to certain day. So by selecting the 23rd of October, I'm actually discarding this trade up just on today, even if it's a mock one. And then you put it on the T log and the T log to the matrix. So a slightly convoluted way, but also a more powerful way to actually display exactly the trade or trades and or part of trades you want to actually simulate and uh, analyze in SOAP. Pretty handy, isn't it?